Psalm 27 is one of my favorite chapters. You know the one that says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? I just wanna and I just want to share something um, from this chapter that I know will encourage you. Um, of course, it will challenge you as well. In verse 3 and verse 4, he says, Though um, a host you encamp, uh, encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. He says, Though war rises against me, in this will I be confident. This talks of a man who does not let his situations and circumstances dictate who he is, but his, his relationship with God is what dictates him. Sometimes for you and me is when things start to go wrong, we let the, our situations, our circumstances dictate who we should be or how we should feel. The first three verses of this, of this chapter is a man who says, I don't care what happens to my life. I don't care who comes and attack me. I don't care how many people or how many things goes wrong in my life. There's one thing that I know. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. How does this man get there? This is what he says in verse more of verse four. He says that one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I might dwell in the presence of the Lord all the days of my life. For you and me, sometimes we want to wait when things start to go wrong and start seeking the Lord. You know, when things are going right, everything's fine. We don't seek the Lord. We wait until start things going wrong. And for some of us, maybe even when things have gone wrong is when we start to withdraw from God saying, you know what, I need to get, to myself, get myself together first before I get back into church. I can't read the Bible first because, well, I'm not feeling well. I don't feel up to it. Those, my brothers and sisters, are the times, believe me, I've been there and I know those are the times to seek the Lord's face. Those are the time to say, despite how I feel, I'm going to go and seek the Lord. Even though I cannot pray, I will have people, I will bring people before me to help me pray. Even when things are going right, and that's when you, you cultivate a heart of, of, of work, of gratitude to say, thank you for what I have. And this is why verse 5 says, before in the time of trouble, in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion and in the secret places of his tabernacle, he will hide me and set me upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted high above my enemies. Heavenly Father, thank you for this word. Brothers and sisters, when we seek God's presence above everything else, regardless of whatever situation or circumstances in, when things start to go wrong, God will always uphold you. But people will wonder, look at what he's going through. How does he make it? How is he still smiling? Because you have sought the Lord when the time was right. When is the time? When, when is it the right time to seek God? Right now, today. This is my encouragement and this is my challenge to you. While you think that things are going right, now is the time to seek the Lord. While you feel that you just don't have the strength to seek the Lord, now is the time. Because when you have God's presence in your life, your circumstances, your situations, the things that are going wrong in your life, life does not dictate who you are or how you feel. It's God who does. So I want to encourage you today that whatever you're going through, seek the Lord. Don't wait until tomorrow. Now is the time to seek the Lord. Because there is where your strength lies. There is where you will rise up and say, the Lord is my light and self, my salvation. There is nothing in this world that will happen to me that I will fear, because he is the strength of my life. I pray, my brother and sister, that this will be the day when you decide to put God first in whatever you're going through, so that when things start to go wrong, he will uphold you. He will set you up on high upon a rock. He says, he'll set your head high above your enemies. God bless you.